Oh, got up out of bed because we heard it and smelled it. And he, he said, what the hell is that? And I said, Chuck, Uncle Frank, I think the house is on fire. We got it. And I came out, and this side right here was on flames were coming through the door. Chuck Pierce somehow managed to survive, just escaping his house engulfed in flames early Tuesday morning. His friend and roommate, who has not been identified, but Pierce said is known in the community as Uncle Frank, lost his life. I thought he was right behind me. We went out there, I got outside, and, and I was like, Frank, Frank, where are you? I couldn't find him. I looked down, you know, got down low as I could and was yelling in there and I just couldn't find him. Fire officials say an ambulance crew noticed the fire and called it in as they were crossing the nearby Severn River Bridge at around 1.30 a.m. The fire was so intense we were not able to make entry at that time. It took 56 firefighters from several different jurisdictions to get the fire under control. Because it happened so close to the water, they brought in two fire boats. Fire boats were able to get as close as possible. We were able to have a continuous water supply uh, fairly quickly. We were able to uh, douse the flames and cool it down. Um, unfortunately, we were not able to uh, remove the victim. Later Tuesday morning, as Pierce was left picking up the pieces, trying to figure out what caused the fire. I think it might have been like a battery charger or something. He was charging up the battery for that truck. Fire officials tell us they were able to collect a good amount of evidence in this fire. As far as the cause, they tell us it remains under investigation. In Annapolis, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.